everybody. Welcome back to another Monday edition of Transformers Talk Raw or TTRP here on YouTube and Spotify. I'd like to thank you folks for joining me today. I salute each and every one of you for being here. I'm your host, Matt, and we're going to be talking about a subject that I thought would be pretty interesting, and that's the top five most overrated recent or upcoming Transformer figure releases. And they are going in order from five to one, uh, with five being the less lesser you know from least to greatest but uh yeah i'd like to thank you guys for joining me i'd like to clarify this up front i'm not trying to offend anybody if that's your thing if you like any of these figures go for it and i'm not even necessarily saying that these figures are bad or that you know they're not you shouldn't buy them i'm just saying that i feel for various reasons they're overhyped or overrated and or overrated that's just the opinion of one fan one old school fan Opinions vary, uh, so do, please do not get offended in any way. I don't mean them in any disrespect. Um, I'm not one of those people that is just automatically loves everything that Hasbro throws at us, and I collect. And I and I'm not bad mouthing Hasbro in any way. I love all of Hasbro's lines, or many of Hasbro's lines. I collect, and they're doing a great job by and large with every one of those major brands. But I don't automatically love everything they come out with or buy everything they come out with. And these are the most overrated, overhyped figures uh, that were recently released or are still have yet to be released, in my opinion. And number five is going to be the Titan Class Arc. And the reason I say the Titan Class Arc at number five is because while it may be a cool figure, and I have seen it for reasonable prices, this is not a p part of Transformers history, at least as a transformer, as a character. It is a ship. In no iteration, to my knowledge, maybe an IDW, but I doubt it. And I could be wrong. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments if I am. It was never a character in and of itself in the Transformers mythos. Uh, and yes, I have done my research as far as the Marvel comics and the Sunbow series go. I know a lot about those two things. And it was never a character in those two things. In any way. Was the arc featured? Yes, but it's not a Transformer. So that in that way, I think it's overrated. It doesn't compare with the other Titan class figures. But the figure itself, of course, it has no lights and sounds. It's minuscule and compared to Metroplex and some of the other ones we've gotten. And uh, I, I'm just not that impressed with it. It's relatively hollow. Um, they, they, the turrets in ship mode and, and the arc mode don't move. I just, I really wasn't impressed with it, guys. The looks of it, anyway. I've never had it in hand because I passed on it. I think it's still available. You can get it for about one thirty. Looking online, I've seen it as low as eighty. Uh, there was a guy on eBay selling it without the uh, uh, Teletran component. It was like eighty bucks shipped. I mean, so this is a pretty cheap Titan still, and this was last year's release. Um, so if you like it, get it, get it. But I, I think it's a bit overrated. I don't think it's overhyped. I think it was over, it's overrated a bit, being a Titan. Um, but that is the least of our worries here, because number four is going to be Legacy Blitzwing. And I know I'm going to pee a lot of you guys off with this one. But I think it is so overhyped. And I know a few of you have gotten it already. You like it. I'm happy you like it. I just don't think it was needed at all and in any way. If we look at the previous Blitzwing... I don't think it was a bad figure. I think it was engineered fine. I think everything about it was fine. It was acceptable. It was a good representation of the character of Blitzwing. But not only that, it was a Voyager. So it was much cheaper. And it's a larger figure than the new one. Now, you're going to have guys come in, well, engineering, paint apps, so-and-so. And it is, of course, closer visually to the Sunbow series. But again, I just don't think it was needed because we had a really solid Blitzwing just a couple years back. I mean, it has not been that long. At most, what, five, six years? It's, it hasn't been long at all. I mean, it was right before Siege. We got it. So I, I think it's acceptable. I still think it scales perfectly with the current Astro Train and Octane that we have, especially if you put on those platforms that came with Astro Train. They're the same height. I just don't think it's warranted. So I think it is overhyped. My number three is going to be the Gen Selects Art Fire. This thing is so overrated. I hear people going on and on about this figure. 
And I don't get it, guys. It's a straight repaint packaged with another straight repaint, if if recolored at all, that, that nightstick, which that name has been regurgitated over and over again. We're getting into another one with the Cyclonus, of course. Now, in Cyclonus, it makes sense they should come with nightstick because that was his gun. Uh, Artfire may have had him, too. I know nothing. That's another thing. I know nothing about the Artfire character because I don't care about the Japanese uh, characters, by and large. But the mere fact that this was a straight repaint and people are, like, loving it, and, and I just don't get it. It's a good mold, sure. But I think it's overrated one. Uh, because we've gotten it a couple times or before then. Now we're going to be getting it again in Legacy. I'm just, I'm not impressed with it. And I don't even think it's that different of a recolor. It's got a white body, and that's it. That's it. It's basically Inferno with a white body. I know it's a different character in the Japanese continuity or Japanese storylines. I'm just not into them. I didn't grow up with those characters. I don't want to know about those characters too much. So that's just me. I think it's overrated. Uh, my number two is, is no surprise to a lot of you guys. It's going to be the Legacy Speedy F500 Cosmos. And this goes into two big reasons. One, I, I think it's seriously overhyped and it's probably going to be overrated. It's, it's very hollow. To me, it looks almost like a KO. It's so hollow. Um, visually, I just don't get it. I don't get why they decided to cut costs that way. I think the, the mold looks terrible when you put him in any sort of poses in robot mode. I think the vehicle mode looks fine and he does, he has a great head sculpt, but it's just a, not, um, an improvement, uh, a solid improvement to me over our previous cosmos. Does he scale better? Probably a little better because they set it up that way. But again, I think it's seriously overhyped, and I don't think it's going to be worth the money at all. But that's me, and if you're looking forward to it again, please enjoy it. But my last one is, is really the one that will come as no surprise at all, and it's one that will probably trigger a lot of folks. And the last one, number one, is going to be the HasLab Star Saber. <clears throat> From the beginning, I thought this was overpriced. Um. You know, I got an MP for the same price it would have cost to back the HasLab Star Saber. And whether or not my MP is a KO or not, I don't know. I truly don't know. The seller listed as genuine, but I don't know. But even if it is, it's fine. I enjoy it. It's sturdy. It's got die cast. It's got chrome. The, the HasLab version has none of those things. It does have Victory Leo. So if you're into Victory Leo, there you go. But it's smaller. I don't think it scales as well with the... Siege or War for Cybertron Shug style guys we've get we've gotten now recently. <laughs> I just think it's overhyped, overpriced, and it'll probably be overrated once it's in hand. Um, I, I just think it was. I mean, I can go on about, it, and I have in the past. So, if you like my full opinion about that, look back for previous T talks and catch me that uh, there. But. Uh, yeah, guys, I'd like to thank you for uh, again for listening in. We're going to have another giveaway real soon. We're going to be back on Friday. Check out those shorts. We're going to have plenty of those uploaded. We also uh, check out those links in the descriptions, guys, if you want to help support the channel. Take T-Talk with you on the go. Join us on Facebook. Uh, follow us on Twitter. We'd sure appreciate you having you guys. Again, I, I got nothing but love for you guys, your opinions. I respect them. But I just, this is my feelings on the matter. But I'm going to catch you guys later. God bless. Tell all one. This podcast is made possible in part thanks to the amazing support of our patrons. Click the link to our Patreon in the description below if you'd like to help keep T-Talk Raw going strong. Thank you.